Hello everyone, this is Liz with EC QuickBooks Training. Today we will be looking at the QuickBooks desktop version. I will be covering Elper's question today. His question was, how to enter a new vehicle loan into QuickBooks Desktop Pro, including down payment and any loan breakdowns? Very good question. So let's get started. The first step is to make sure that you have the three accounts that you need to be able to record your loan. You need to go to list, chart of accounts, and enter three accounts necessary. The first is the asset account, and you can name it vehicles, um, company vehicles, or whatever you want to name it, but you have to make sure it's a fixed asset account. And in here, in this sample company file, we have it as automobile and truck, so we will be using that account. The next account, the second account, is your liability account. So you want to make sure that you have that one. In this file, it's the truck loan, and it's under long-term liability. The third account is to have an interest payment account. So make sure that under expenses, you have interest paid to be able to record your interest for the truck. Once you have that set up, you want to gather your data information. And I have it broken down in this Excel sheet, and I will link this in um, the video below. I use this um, a lot to break down my principal and interest for the truck. As you can see, this is a very old sheet, but I just changed the dates. Now, how this works is it has formulas, and you can even use a calculator online. Um, there's plenty of those online with, where it breaks down the principal and interest. So I just put this information just for um, for my records. I put down the monthly um, amounts that I need to pay, and then it breaks it down by interest and principal. Now. The total, in this scenario, the total price of the truck uh, before the down payment was $26,598.19. Let's say we gave a $2,000 down payment. So I'm going to record that. Um, and then leaving us with a balance, a liability balance of $24,598.19. Now, now my first step is to record the fixed asset and the liability. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And I'm going to do that as a journal entry. And remember, you want to make sure you date it on the date that you purchased the truck. Since this is a sample company file, QuickBooks has given us this date. I'm going to leave it as it is because that's not important right now. So let's go ahead and um, record our fixed asset, which is, um, let me scroll down so you can see it, fixed asset, um, uh, automobiles and trucks, right there. We're going to record, uh, what was the amount, give me one moment, 26,598.19, and asset, as you know, it's a debit, um, and we're going to put in the memo um, purchased new vehicle and then you can put details as well and we want to record the liability so that is truck loan and that's going to be a credit so we're going to save and close and let's look at the truck loan liability it's right here and then our asset which is all this is going to be on the balance sheet um, and it's right here now we want to record the down payments we gave um, two thousand dollars for down payments so we're going to write a check we're going to put it out of the company um, checking account and um, let's I'm going to just pick a name I didn't write a vendor but you put whoever you wrote it whatever um, dealer, um, car dealer it was. I'm just going to do a quick add here. And we put $2,000. And the account, the account is going to be, and I'm going to 
going to scoot this a little bit up so you can see. Okay, the count is going to be the liability because we want to reduce the liability by two thousand dollars. Give me one moment. Sorry about that. One is okay. There we go. Li uh, liability and it's the truckload. Okay, I'm going to select that and it's two thousand dollars and I'm going to save that. Yes, record it. Now let's take a look at our liabilities. So it's $24,598.19, which is what we want. But as you can see, the total cost of the truck is still $26,598.19. So that's how to record, that's the first step to record the asset and the liability. The next thing we want to do, and let's go back to our worksheet. So once we recorded that and it's our first month to pay the bill we want to pay 51360 and break down the principal and the interest so let's go ahead and record that in quickbooks and we're going to do another check banking and let's write a check to the dealer and it's 51360 and what we want to do is I'm going to bring I apologize I'm going to bring the window down so you can see okay what we want to do here is we want to record the interest and the principal so in this case loan interest uh, is the account for my expense and I want to record the the principal here under truck liability and loan interest so the my first payment principal is three twenty three ninety nine. So I'm going to record here three twenty three ninety nine, and my interest was one eighty nine sixty one. One eighty nine sixty one, totaling five thirteen sixty, which is what I want to pay at the dealer. So I'm going to save and close. So let's take a look at the truck loan. As you can see, it reduced. And let me take a look here. Yeah, 24,274.20. And there it is. And this is what it looks like in the general ledger. Hopefully you can see this. Let me put this in the... Okay, so here we go. So we recorded our liability. We did the down payment. We did the first payment here, so now our balance is this. And this is how you record it. Now, um, for your calculator or your schedule, you want to keep doing this, so you mark it off once it's done and you do the following month. By the end of the term, the loan, which is three years, four years, five years, whatever you have, you will be, uh, let me scroll all the way down, you will be at zero, zero balance. So I'm going to link this uh, worksheet if you guys want to use it. Um, you can download it and use it. Um, change the numbers here, but you can go ahead, certainly go ahead and, you know, schedule your loan vehicles. And that is how you record it in QuickBooks Desktop Pro. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can continue getting uh, QuickBooks tutorials. And if you have any other questions you would like for me to answer, please put in the comments below. I will see you on the next one.